Welcome, ladies and cupcakes! We are now arriving in Estonia, where the ground is as flat as a plume, and the winters are as black as their dark sense of humor. Enjoy! Thank you for flying, Chick Rick Airlines! Yes, Boris! So, for those who did not pay attention in geography class, Estonia is situated right over here. A relatively small country with an area of about uh, the same as Slovakia or the Netherlands. Now that information should tell you absolutely nothing. So here is some interesting facts. You can cross the whole country in about four and a half hours diagonally, not counting the islands that are to the left, but if you do, then it will take you about seven and a half hours. But I do not suggest you do this, because the land kind of ends here. So since I have been in this country for uh, a little while now, there is some interesting shit I thought I would share. Across the country there are these self-wash stations. They hand you a gun that shoots water and you can clean your car for like 3 euros. It is cheaper than getting your car hand washed by some guy and somewhat more efficient than throwing a bucket of water across your car. Not a lot of people in traffic use stash cams, but then again traffic here is pretty civilized until Boris comes along. Driving from capital city of Tallinn Sorry, Tallinn, Tal, Tal, Tallinn. Anyway, from Tallinn to Narva, which is like the eastmost city of the country and borders with uh, Russia, takes about two and a half hours. Here we see a basketball court, a bridge with locks, and a big ass fucking castle. Right next to it is a bridge that leads straight to Russia. Here is a sign that says, come in, the water is warm. Okay, enough about these useful facts. Back in the capital city of Tallinn, there is a huge... Boris, I mean TV tower, but since visibility was totally shit, mainly due to the, what they can only assume, widespread trend of vaping, we could not see shit. Just like this wind turbine, that goes up to space for all I know. But yes, there is some good news, beer in store is relatively cheap, and the party at home is preferred. But if you do happen to be, you know, lucky enough to be not living on the minimum wage, you can afford to get shit fest in the pub as well. I mean, this must be the only country in the world where at minus 51 degrees, it is STILL RAINING! Or is car thermostat broken, maybe? So the year consists of four seasons, autumn, fall, ocean, and sugis. So you can throw your winter boots away, because on that one day that you will see snow, you will probably be sick anyway. But okay, life's not all that bad. One time that I was uh, walking around drunk in a strange city, I found a bar for blinds. It is literally called the Bean Company. We did not uh, think of this, it could have been rich. But okay, it's not all bad. Depressing weather and drinking all the time. Or is it? No, the magic of this place is that you can give yourself a taste experience of a lifetime. On a very small budget. Go to shop, buy some kefir in a bag, some sylt, a couple of these kohuki, some potatoes and some onions for about 20 cents a kilogram. I did not find any black sausage, but then again that is a Christmas thing after all. So get some pickles instead. And prepare for a feast. You see, some people they do not understand how you can sell a drink in a plastic bag. Well, is it not obvious? You put a big jug or a cup underneath, put bag inside and boom! Instant juice box. Put your kefir or fermented milk aside and whip out one of these kuhukis. These are very popular around these parts. So this is essentially sweetened curd cheese covered in chocolate. Fucking genius. And wash it down with kefir. Estonians do eat a lot of potato as well. Boiled, fried, in a salad, mashed up or inside dumplings, whatever you like. Also if you want a complete experience, you eat a peel as well, because that's where the nutrition is hidden. Ok, this potato was raw, but you get the point. Now you might have heard of doctor sausage, but here we have children's sausage. And not just because it is already pre-sliced, but because the consistency of meat is so low, that even the crankiest child would eat this. Ok, do not believe this, this says 36% pork and 14 beef, no no no. It is 36% hopes and dreams and 14% wordplay. But blim the taste it is good. Grab a side of pickle to wash it all down and get ready for meat jelly, otherwise known as suilt. So if someone came to me and asked me, Boris, how the fuck do you eat this thing? Then this is exactly it. You put your fork inside, pull out a piece as big as you can. But do not just eat, but introduce senior pinter- no wait. Introduce penis into your life. So if you have a weak heart, I do not suggest you try this. You might even want to look away. This stuff is... Debil. This stuff is so strong 
that if you are not experienced enough, then it will make you cry like small child. Enjoy! And let's not forget the glorious 3 liter bucket of mayonnaise that you can add to pretty much any meal. Or if babushka is not watching, you can just dip your meat jelly in there. Opa! Mmm! And wash it all down with local vodka. Soki, what else is there? Ah yes, you can rent an electric car for a pretty small amount for a couple of hours. Now these are not exactly Tesla Model X. And well, the navigation was broken, but you can have quite a bit of fun with this. Just trying not to crash. But the most fun part of all is the old trams. Man, it smells like the 70s in there. But that's not just all. Everyone rides around with these green cards. That you have to validate every time you go on a bus or a tram or a trolley. And I swear some people use it to show after striptease skills. Wait, hold on, I wonder. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, that has been my experience of the country of Estonia. But would I suggest this place for travel? Of course I do. Beer is cheap and food is great. They might have all four seasons of fall. And the minimum wage way lower than the basic living standard. But shit, local vodka is good and cheap. And to have some of the best beers I have ever tasted. So go on, I dare you. Have a visit and report back. But until then, my friends, stay cheeky bricky, and I will see you next time.